Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for the Vicky Boutin design team and this week we were asked to work projects that were monochromatic. So my idea is I'm gonna use one single color, different shades, quite a bit of distress, quite a bit of layers of mixed media and white and black and craft as my neutral. So what I've done out of camera is I pulled out pieces that have a lot of that greenish kind of um, tealish tone and it's blue Hawaiian. I love that color. I know Vicky likes it too. So she adds quite a bit to her collection. So I pull a few pieces of black and white, some pieces of craft. I pull out the pictures, the pictures that I'm going to document. And then I'm going to work with acrylic paint. So you're going to see that I'm going to use blue Hawaiian because that's my main color. I'm going to bring a little bit of ice daiquiri and watermelon uh, burst. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just testing the color in a little piece of cardstock that I have. I had some spare cardstock. I, mostly because when I want to see that when I mix the colors together, I don't get like a defined green or a defined blue. I want to stay in different shades of it. And I'm just testing it to make sure that my idea is going to come uh, in the paper like I want. It's not going to be that much of a difference, but you're going to see the different tones show up. So now that I have that in place, I'm going to start working on it. And I'm going to bring in some white paint to it. This is just regular uh, white paint from Michael. I'm going to use the brushes from the watercolor brush set from Vicky and a foundation paper that has no yeso. So you're going to see that all I'm going to do is I'm going to, the key here is you got to use a, a dry brush. Don't wet your brush. You're going to use it uh, dry and you're going to work fast. So what I'm doing is I'm, um, I have two brushes. The one brush is going to be just for white paint and the other one's the one I'm going to use to mix the colors. So with the one that I'm mixing the colors, you're going to see that I pick up a little bit of color. I don't go heavy on my paper. I'm pretty much like feathering the paint onto the background. And I'm going in one single direction. That's the key. You're going to go in one. You can go in both directions. It's up to you. I want it for this layout. I want it to go in one single direction. And that's just going to create the different tones that you're going to see. Now, there's going to be some parts of it where the paint goes a little bit heavier. So what I do is I go with my white paint. Remember, I have one brush just for the white paint on top of it. And that's just going to bring down the tone and create. And because I'm feathering the paint, you're going to see little uh, the brush strokes underneath the white. And there's going to be a little bit of um, you're creating distress this way. Now, you can add a little bit of matte gel, uh, the acrylic gel to this. And I'll make it a little bit translucent. But I didn't want to go that route. I wanted to create, I wanted to work just with the paint. So you're going to see that with the paint that I have all the color, I mix some of the colors, I mix in some of the watermelon burst, and I create in those different tones. And then to soften it a little bit, I just go with the white paint on top of it, just where I see that it's uh, being applied really heavily. And my idea is I'm going to create a rectangle of this, um, not a straight rectangle, but like a, the idea of a rectangular shape on my paper. And I'm just going to work with the greens and then I'm going to work with the white and I uh, continue so on. Now you're going to see here is that I already created everything that I was going to create with the color tones in this case. So I'm going to start with the white paint only. This is the brush that only has the white paint. Just going to create an, an even uh, line. What I mean by that is I want the lines to have like kind of the same beginning and the same end. I don't want a straight line, but I don't want it to have like different, like an uneven um, edge. Again, it's not gonna be a straight edge, but I don't want an uneven edge. So that's the only thing. And I'm gonna set it aside to try, not really that much. Like I said, this is all about working really fast. So this is an angle from my stash. This is uh, not an angle. This is a brush, an angle brush for my stuff, for my stash, sorry. And all I'm gonna do is with this, is just kind of give it more definition to some of the teal area. And this is a, um, I bought this at Michael's years ago. I have a lot of them. And uh, this is just going to help me also to start bringing some details to the background. Now, I already have uh, the feathering motion that I created. That's just my background. I'm going to start bringing interest to using acrylic paint and some of uh, Vicky's medium. So first, I started with a little bit of dash. And for that, I mix the, um, the watermelon burst with a little bit of the um, blue Hawaiian and just went dashed at the bottom. Now I'm going to stretch the white paint that I have there and I'm going to use the circle. This is not the circle stamp. This is one of the stamps from the Field Notes collection. I'm going to use those circles. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp them around my area. Wherever you're going to see that there's areas where the circle picked up too much paint, I just go with my brush and stretch it. It's okay. Uh, I'm not going to be an exact science, but I want like the circles to show up at the background. 
and because they're white not a lot of it's going to show so but just wait you're going to see it at the end so now that i have that done i'm going to work it adding layers of mixed media so for now because i want to stay in the monochromatic uh, scheme i'm going to bring a little bit of the watercolor marker this is blue hawaiian and i'm bringing out uh, the little brush from the vicky Butin watercolor uh, brushes and all i'm going to do is do little crosses all around the paper but i'm going to cluster them just like you see them in the little stamp set i'm going to do the same thing so all i'm doing is picking up a little bit of the watercolor marker i put it on my little uh, on my craft mat and just creating these little tiny crosses with the brush and you're going to see that i put them all around the papers i'm not just putting them in one area i am putting them in different areas but i'm clustering them so that they show it if you put just one or two they're not going to show you need to cluster them a little bit more especially in a monochromatic design just to have some um, effect once that i have that in place i'm going to bring in some white and all i'm doing is just creating little rows of circles so i just dot in white paint onto the onto the background and you're going to see that i just i'm going to create lines they're not going to be straight lines i'm just creating white paint dot lines this is li literally what it is and i'm going in all directions is some up and down some left to right and i'm just gonna add them so around the area where i have the dashes of um that i created with the watercolor marker i just want to stretch the design i want to bring some interest to the background a lot of it you might not see because it's white but because i am dotting the paint there's some of the little dots that are going to catch extra paint so you're going to have a little bit of texture and it's just some visual effect i could have just left the background plain but i think just to bring some interest and because it's so monochromatic you need to bring layers you need to kind of cluster your layers together too just to have the different colors a different effect and now that i'm happy with what it looks like i'm just gonna add a few more stamps because i think i need to bring more of the circle motif to the background and i'm gonna set it aside to dry takes no time to dry because acrylic paint dries really fast and because it's such a thin application it took literally no time to um dry completely so no sorry no time took very little time to dry completely sorry about that now that it's all dry i'm gonna go ahead and trim um the page a little bit i'm gonna say around a half an inch from the top to the um yeah top and bottom and around a quarter of an inch on the sides and i'm doing this because i am gonna actually frame it with one of the papers from the color kaleidoscope collection and it's this one that has all the tones of um the blue hawaiian and why i'm bringing this paper because it has a little bit of that green tone that i added to my background so i just glue it onto the page making sure that the bottom part of the layout is a little bit higher so you see more of the paper and i went to my sewing machine and just stitch around it and i'm just cutting the excess paper that i have on the background i don't want to waste it i can use it after so um once i have that in place i'm going to start building the layout and like i said i pulled the these are pictures of my baby this is my our dog and our dog is so cool not because it's my dog but because actually my dog is so cool um he will let us put a hat on him he will let us put shoes on him he will let us put sunglasses on him as long as we show him a cookie and we take him out for a walk so you can see if you ever like well i don't show that much but if you ever see pictures of my dog if we go on a car ride he's wearing a hat like literally he wears a hat uh, in the winter he will wear a toque um yeah he just lets us play with him and i love it so um all i'm doing right now is and you saw me is i pulled a lot of the papers that have the same tones of teal that uh that i'm using and uh, i'm just gonna start working on layers i want to layer paper i want to like i said this is a monochromatic um design so what I, what this is going to give you the option is to just create layers to bring the same tone not because it's monochromatic it's going to be boring this is when you can play with layers you can play with textures i already had a little bit of texture in the background with the white paint so i'm going to start working with papers and adding layers and shadows and my, like I said before, I am going to bring black and white as my accent colors and craft. These are my neutrals, so they're going to work really well here. And what I'm doing right now, like I said, is I play with layers. And you're going to see that I pretty much have an idea of how I want them. I kind of stack the pictures a little bit. So before I glue them onto the little uh, layers that I created with the paper, I'm going to add some a piece of vellum behind each picture and then some foam adhesive. Now, I added foam adhesive behind one of them. And then I'm going to add the same foam adhesive behind some of the layers of the paper. So it gives the idea that some of the paper is um, kind of higher than the page. And then the other one's going to give you the idea that the picture is higher of the edge. One is for that. And the second one, because it makes it easier to stack this way. They are both at the same height, but the papers are different um, 
it, it just helps with stacking because one they're going to be at the same height but the papers are going to be higher than the other one so you can easily kind of uh, kind of stash them underneath the picture in a way now that i have them in place i'm just going to add glue behind it and glue it straight onto my layer and i'm going to put them on the left hand side of the layout because i am thinking of a diagonal design and at the bottom right corner of my layout that's where i'm going to add my title now these circle fr uh, frames are from the color kaleidoscope collection and i like the fact that they will run because it reminded me of the glasses so i'm gonna, like i remember i stamped circles on the background i just want to play with that uh shape and then like i said i'm bringing craft this most of them have a craft look to them just to create accents of the layout and you're gonna see like slowly i'm building my little diagonal design i'm gonna add a little bit of foam adhesive behind the circles that i added i cut a little bit of them just to um so that i can use them in two different uh parts of the pictures and then all i'm doing right now is just adding foam adhesive behind the layers just so that everything is uh nothing depth so that they're all at the same level now i'm going to start bringing my title first thing i'm going to do is i think i take it off camera is i add foam adhesive behind the entire circumference of the frame and that's just going to create a little bit of a lift i don't want it to be flat on the layer and then i'm just gonna i'm gonna bring that teal piece that you see there just because i have all the teal papers on the pictures and i think i need to ground the back the title there too so then i'm gonna just add the the camera and this is all from the color kaleidoscope uh, ephemera pack and then after that i'm gonna start building my title so I found this you made me laugh and the you and if you see my project last week I used um from Vicky's um puffy stickers I used the word the word that comes is love you I cut out the love and I had the you left so I'm gonna just kind of trim the little edges of the you wherever I cut the love part just to make it round and then I'm gonna combine them with the chipboard stickers so like I said my title is gonna read you made me laugh because he does make me laugh he, he makes all of us laugh trust me he's our baby so now that I have that in place, I'm just going to start embellishing the layout. I'm going to bring uh, a lot of the stick. I'm going to play with the stickers and the colors and the textures. So you're going to see that I'm going to bring uh, that shiny stickers a little bit on the bluish side. But then to counteract that the blue of tone of it, I'm going to bring some of the black and that has like a little frame of teal. This is all from the chipboard uh, collection and uh, from Vicky's Kaleidoscope collection. Most all, I must say all my embellishments come from the collection. I found this uh, sticker in the cardstock sticker that said uh, a picture is worth a thousand words and I just it was a really long sticker so I just trimmed it so that I can kind of ground my title at the bottom just bring some of the black and I'm just bringing some phrase stickers you're gonna see that I'm just gonna play with the idea of black and white a little bit of that craft look to the layer I'm gonna bring accents of teal accents of black and that's pretty much what it's gonna a the embellishments on my layout i'm gonna bring those dashes remember how i created those little crosses on the background with the uh watercolor marker i'm gonna bring them from the puffy stickers I have quite a few of them and also you can find them in the cardstock stickers so i'm just bringing some of them just like i said i'm bringing all the paper or not the papers all the um details that i have in the background i'm gonna bring them also to the front of the layout so once I have that in place, I really like how it looks like, but I think I need to add another little cluster of ephemera at the top of the layout. Just kind of, um, I don't want to guide UI just at the bottom, and I find a lot of empty space over there, and I think you need something just to accent and bring more of that tone. So what I find is these little banners that um, have the same tones of that uh, blue Hawaiian. So I'm just going to use some of them to create, like I'm going to say a little cluster at the bottom, right not the bottom sorry at the top right corner of the layer so you're gonna see that i add that banner i'm gonna add some foam adhesive behind it just to lift it and then i'm gonna use uh, this is all from the uh, vicky's um this is from the sticker book that uh so i'm just gonna use some of them and just gonna create a cluster i'm always gonna think of number three so i'm always think of three when i create a cluster so i'm adding some of the craft that i'm using through the layout i'm bringing some of the i'm gonna bring another accent of black and that's just one of the phrase stickers i'm gonna bring some of the round uh, shapes you're gonna see that i bring a puffy sticker and then i'm gonna bring some of the little crosses i'm gonna call them little crosses just because that um what do you call it this is one of the images that repeats on the background and on the layer once i have that in place i'm gonna add my lines of journey you're gonna see that that little where i added that little um 
arrow, the black arrow, that's where I'm going to add my lines to journal right there. So I'm just drawing lines with my pencil and then I'm going to write them with black. And once I have that, I'm going to bring some of the little, again, some of the crosses and a little heart because I think I need to bring a little bit of teal. There's a lot of white down there. So just to bring the color, I'm going to bring one of those tiny little hearts from the puffy uh, word stickers just to um, bring some of that teal that is in the background. Once I have that in place, I'm going to bring a little bit of white. So I'm adding a little bit of white paint and diluting it and I'm just going to add a kind of splatters around the layout. I'm going to make sure that the splatters go on top of the papers, not on the picture, but you're going to see that I add them on top of the papers and some of the embellishments. And that's just because I want, I, want, I want to kind of tone down the black. And that's about it. I love how this turned out. It was super easy to put together. I love the color. I love the texture. I love all the little details in the background, even though they're in the background and they're subtle, which just help to break... Uh, some of the teal in the background but also gives a little bit of interest to the background so it's it's simple even though like i said it's monochromatic that's even it has to be boring just add a little bit more uh details on the background and that's going to help you sell uh, a monochromatic design and i hope you're trying if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me make sure you check out vicky's stuff and uh thank you so much for joining me take care guys